Welcome back to another episode of my Inside the Track series. This is episode 7 about my song No More from the Hope EP, first released in 2021. I wrote this song back in June 2020, when the first wave of Covid slowly started to fade. And a club I regularly played at in Stuttgart, Germany, had just opened its doors to the public again. But of course in very different circumstances. For example, we were only allowed to be a maximum of three musicians on stage. Then when the first show got closer, I wanted to come back on stage with a brand new song that works in this trio kind of formation. And I wanted to present a very funky and groovy song to an audience that already knew me for so long. So I wrote this tune entirely on Wurlitzer and vocals. After lockdown number one I came to a realization. I really don't want to compromise anything anymore. I wanted to create my songs in whatever style or genre I felt them the most and decided to not necessarily stick to one genre only. I also felt that I'm ready for the next level of success in my career. And for this realization, I'm pretty grateful. I'm not sure if I would have gotten there without COVID. Maybe I would have, but I guess I might have needed some more years to get there. And many fellow musicians told me the very same thing. Artists are usually very reflective people. I guess that's in the nature of being an artist. So I do believe that musicians with the general ability to improvise always find something to be excited about, no matter what, even in times of adversity. One musician that I got to meet a little better during the pandemic happened to be one of my childhood bass heroes, Magnum Coltrane Price. Artist, singer, bass player, member of the Niels Landgren funk band and the funk unit. I remember checking all of his bass lines in my parents' basement for hours and hours and hours. And another thing that always connected the two of us was the fact that we were both bass players that also sang. So Mag was following a lot of my live streams on Instagram and YouTube and really liked what I did. So we've been sending messages back and forth. And someday within the production of No More, it just struck me. Mac had to be on this tune, so I asked him to do one of his great raps on the tune. And he agreed. So this really became my very first feature on one of my releases. And it's nobody else than my childhood bass hero, Magnum Coltrane Price. How cool is that? I couldn't be more proud to share this musical moment with him. So without any further ado, let me take you into the computer and show you a little more about No More. Okay, welcome to Logic again. This is the last single on my Hope EP. And um, as I said in the introduction, I wrote this song entirely on uh, Wurlitzer and vocals. So let's listen to just that for a sec. I'm ready. I guess I found myself. I'm ready. I guess I found my own way to go And sometimes it happens too fast I thought it would last Till it became clear to me And sometimes it happens at last When I thought it has passed Here's my chance I wanna start living Taken from here, no, no I wanna live like I fantasized it No compromises Taken from here, no, no When I came up with this instrumental line I thought it would be instrumental But I ended up putting it exactly like that on a record Okay, so this was the basic arrangement. Uh, I agreed on a tempo and starting, started to work my way backwards from there. So I knew that I was going to play this tune in the club, as I mentioned in the introduction. And I knew the musicians that were going to play this very song. So I tried to uh, find parts that also fit to the musician that uh, was in the band. So. The drummer is a really funky, funky dude, Obi. Um, we've been playing together for many years, uh, as well as the keyboard player, Robert. He's amazing, too. Uh, we've been playing together uh, just as long as I played with Obi. But since I knew the two musicians that I was going to play the song with, I kind of shaped the instrumental parts to their strengths. So Obi, as I said, is a very funky dude. So I was looking for a drum loop, kind of, uh, groove 
on Splice and I found this one. Ready. So funky and sounds so nice. I'm ready. I guess I found so I didn't really do anything to the drums other than like a little bit of EQ and um, I guess I found my own. second. Wait. The second loop I took was the very same thing, but with a cowbell involved. So here, check it out. So funky. And um, I tried to keep out the bass as long as possible because I wanted to, the first verse to, to very shine in the vocals. But then I put in a bass, a very simple bass line, starting second half of the first verse. Check it out. On my own way to go Sometimes it happens to fail and the bass would sit on the kick drum in this case although I really like to not always hit on the hit in the kick drum in this case I really liked it and here's the chorus section I changed to an eighth note bass And this is exactly how we performed this song uh, live. So this was so much fun and, and I really enjoyed playing this song live because all of a sudden this super fast idea that I created uh, came to life. And then of course I didn't have a rap part uh, for, for the live performance. Uh, so that came a lot later. So I just had another verse uh, that I've written. But as soon as I produced the song, I thought, a rap would be so much cooler. Okay, um, as I said, this was like the main, main layout of this song. And then I started to build it up a little. And the first thing I did was adding some percussions and a funny story about these percussions <laughs> in, in particular. Um, this is a kitchen scale that I drummed on with, with a uh, little pencil. Then I uh, used my hands to do something like a cabasa, like that, like that. I think I did it like that. And then I had these flip-flops. They, they almost fell apart, they were really old, but uh, they made a really nice clapping kind of kind of sound whenever I clapped them together. I really like organic percussions that I create in my own way. So I recorded all of that. So let's listen to that for a sec. First, uh, the kitchen scale. Here comes the mouth kabasa And the flip-flops. Let's listen to the flip-flops in solo, it's so funny. It also sounds kind of gross, but <laughs> I really liked it. Then on top of that, I recorded some claps. And basically what I did when I recorded these claps, I, I stood in different corners of the room and clapped and did like, boom, hey, 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 like that. And uh, I did that with different voices from different spots in the room, as I said. So this became this very roomy sounding clap gang, I would call them. Okay, let's listen to that with vocals, drums, and bass. Yes. Of course. I wanna start living my life. And all of a sudden no this came to life and really sounds like this, this gang having a party. I wanna live like I fantasized it. I no ah. compromise. Forgot the key, sorry. I take it from here. No more, no, no more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Yeah, you get the idea. Um, all I did in the first chorus then was just adding some vocals to it. Um, just doubled the whole thing uh, in the same octave and an octave below. Also invited Jenny to, to do a double um, and also put in some harmonies, but this time only my voice. Check it out. I take it from here, no, 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 no more. Ooh, 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 no, no more. Okay, that's about it. The only other instrument for the production that I added was asking my good friend Christian to play uh, some organ to just give it some some organic vibe and um, as always he played a very very tasty take uh, on this song very very little in the beginning just a little swell right here oh, <laughs> i like stuff like that and then in the chorus section Great sound, great playing. Can only recommend organ players. <laughs> You get the idea. Then in the second verse, as I said, I had a complete verse written for myself, but while producing all of that and finally coming up with a cool arrangement for that, I thought a rap part would be so cool. And I was listening to some funk unit before and I was chatting with Mac and I just went ahead and just jumped into the cold water, asked him if he wanted to do a rap and he agreed. So here's the phenomenal rap part that Magnum Coltrane Price sent me. Um, uh, here we go. And I actually, I sent him a layout of some rhythmic ideas that I had for the rap part. So I really, really like this first phrase. So I just kept it in and it also made some sense um, from the content he, he's rapping about. So check it out. something always trying to get back you win one lose two what's up with that it didn't make me stronger you killed me and only because of that baby you filled me i rise every day just to fight this destiny got fired every day just for you to see not ever backing up and he actually took the time to to record all that and write something very very cool uh for my tune and i'm so so flattered and honored um that he really took the time. I know it was a very stressful time for him, so he actually recorded this one through a USB mic, uh, a USB mic from his daughter. So the recording quality was not perfect, but I'm very happy with the results. So I did a little bit of so I did a little bit of audio correction, which sounded great. And what I did on top is I doubled some phrases some some catchphrases at the back of his verses it something always trying to get back you win one lose two what's up with that and it sounds like him but it's me and only because of that baby you feel me every day just to spite this destiny got fired every day just for you to see just to give it a little more i found to go forward never slowing down i got a go to go towards hey yo now tell me what you think and reintroduce the gang there a little break no doubt but not like the matrix or a video game out here we only got love and shame love and shame can i beat your compromise love and shame so you and there i wanted to break it down before we actually hit for it for the peak chorus um so i wanted to make it a little more spacey here uh, that's why i introduced these guitars right here check it out one funky one and one very kind of spacey yeah, delay yeah, guitar yeah. flying around 
Uh, let's listen to that in solo and I tell you how I engineered those. So again, I use THU from the Slate Bundle. Can only recommend it. It's great. I used a tape delay here, uh, a little bit of reverb, pretty much reverb as I see. And it sounds like this. And this is like just a very freaky kind of guitar. Then I doubled the whole thing, um, put a little bit of drip on there, panned it to the right. So just to have a little different sound and all together, they sound like that. And it might sound very sloppy, but that's actually cool, I think. And these are all three guitars, so I added a funky guitars. So I added a funky guitar to the right. And that's it. That's it. All the instruments are introduced now. So I kept the guitars for the peak chorus. Uh, let's hear second half of Max Rap. Go towards A hey, up. Now tell me what you're thinking about. Cause your mind creates reality, no doubt. But not like the Matrix or a video game. Out here we only got love and shame. Love and shame. Can I beat your compromise? Love and shame. So you know that you're alive. Live for real. Or don't you live that life? Transition. Live for real. Or don't you live that life? And no surprises from there anymore. Um, all I did was sing the chorus, also sung a little bit of ad-libs, uh, made them very spacey with a lot of delays and all that kind of stuff. Um, the only very interesting new thing is I kind of let the arrangement fall apart from the outro on. So I introduced the gang vocals and all of a sudden this, this arrangement slowly falls apart. Uh, so one element goes out, then the next element goes out, and the next element goes out. And this was due to my imagination playing this song live with a couple, couple of band members that maybe like get off stage or so. <laughs> um, I, was, I was trying to imagine that. And that's it. <laughs> All right, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you liked what you just saw or follow me on social media so we can stay connected. I truly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching again and see you next time. Ben out.